Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on here and give you a little quick demo on how to make bows with your scoreboard and trimmer by Sizex. Um, brand new to the store, got them in this week, have already started playing with it. Um, made a cute little box, had some curly cues made and I figured out how to make a quick bow at the same time. So pretty easy. Lots of great things you can do with it. Um, adding a great little decoration to your package or to a card. You can do anything with that. So I've gone ahead and cut some strips for the curly cues. And these were just done at um, an eighth of an inch. So just cutting them here straight on your cutter, just off to the side. Pretty easy. We'll put those to the side for a moment. And then I've gone ahead and already cut two strips. So the first strip is going to be for the actual bow part. And it's going to be four inches long by three quarter inches wide. Okay, and we're going to score this at the two. So we're just going to pop this in here, get ready to score it. And that's pretty easy. Then our next one, which is going to be the base for the bow, that's three inches long and we're going to score that at one and a half. And the reason we're scoring is because we are going to use this fancy little punch, which is for your envelope maker, but we are going to take it and on our score lines, we are going to put it right at the center of this line. Okay, that way it's going to make a quick little indent. Pull this down, pop this back in here, and there's our score. Now, it's a little harder to see on patterned paper, but take your time, pop it in there, and that's what we're going to create. Okay, we're gonna do it on this side as well. And there you go. That is for the bow. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to do it on this side as well. So again, find your center, pop that in. There we go. And that is the middle or the bottom part and that's where your bow is going to get glued to, okay? Now, we're gonna take the ends and we're also going to put those in, center it, and then do your punch, and that gives us the end part of our bow. And there we go. So now that we have this, we are going to cut the ends and we are going to use our punch once again. So you're going to take the end of your um, bow and you're going to put it, let's take this off so you can see. We're going to line it up so that the end goes where the dotted line is this time. We're just gonna punch, flip it over, and do exactly the same thing. And that's what it's going to look like. And this is gonna get rolled, and it's gonna get glued to your piece, um, to the back end. So we'll just do this one. Okay, and now we've got two pieces. So now you're gonna take your scoring tool that has this fancy little um, slit in it and you're gonna curl, okay? And we just wanna give it a nice little curl so that it keeps its shape when we go to glue it down. All right. And that so far is what our bow is gonna look like. So we're just gonna take a moment to glue this. Okay. 
And you're gonna want to use some heavy duty glue for this. You can even use a glue gun if you like. Um, I'm just using the Tombow glue. And I have a quick little pin here that's gonna help us keep things together. So we're gonna push this down. And we're gonna push this down. And take our pin. And this is gonna help glue this. And then we've got a nice bow that's got no creases in it. And if you find that your bow looks a little bit lopsided, just like this one, just take that and push that in there and give it a little curl on the inside. It's gonna make your bow look a little fuller. And there we go. So once that dries, We'll attach that to here, and then we've got our bow. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna take those little strips that I showed you, and we're just going to curl them. And it does look harder than it is. We're just gonna pop that in here. I like to have it this at this end. And we are going to curl. And there you go. And I'm only using 65 pound paper um, when doing these. I haven't tried it on a heavier weight cardstock yet. Um, it just seems to be a little bit easier uh, with the 65 pound. There's two. Always add a bit more curl to it and then one more and there we go so this should be pretty dry just going to take a little bit of glue and that is just going to go right in that little slot that we made with the punch. Okay. I'm going to take my paper clip again and I'm just going to put that right there and get that to should only take a few seconds. While you're waiting, you can glue your squirrelies together or you can leave them loose. You can add them to whatever you want. I just add them to the back of the bow. So we'll start gluing these down. this cute little bow that you can attach. Let's just cut these off. To a box. Or you can add it to a card if you like. And that is a quick, quick demo of how to make a bow on the new score. Now for the center, 
you can either do a strip of paper to go on the inside here like this one and that's going to be one eighth of an inch wide by three quarters of an inch long for this one i've decided i'm going to use um, a pearl just for something a little bit different uh, this one's a self-sticking pearl and all you do is you place it on the inside push down and then you have your center done and you don't need to worry about gluing um, a piece of paper thanks for watching hope you were able to get something out of this video see you soon